Hello everybody, this is Justin Smith with LED Sign Company again, and, and in this tutorial I'm going to go over some more of the intricacies of programming in the ITV software. And today I'm just going to start by opening up a presentation that I already made. Um, here it is right here, as you can see. This is more what a complete presentation will end up looking like. And I know in the last tutorial I went through the basics, you know, how to add in the time, the text, and the images. And today I'm going to go over two more things. I'm going to go over how you can actually light up and dim your sign based upon the time of day, and how you can actually um, insert um, commands into the uh, sign that will only display at certain times of the day. Say you want to have a happy hour drink special uh, message on your sign routine, uh, you can actually uh, use this software to um, <coughs> send that to the sign and have it only display, you know, um, through uh, one through four p.m. or something. Lines. Uh, today I'm going to go through how you can do that. So first off, I just want to go through these, this uh, presentation that I've already made. As you can see, it's a fairly long one, and it's I've got some commands in here that I know you haven't seen yet, such as the region command, and I'll go over how to do that in the next tutorial. But that region command is basically used to um, display uh, one thing in one portion of the sign and like a like different thing in a different portion of the sign, such as a text or an image in the left half and then something else in the right half. I know I've, I've even got a video in here, and I'll go over how to put that in later. Uh, today I just want to focus on something that I do not have in here yet, which is the um, brightness commands. <laughs> now, uh, the brightness commands are pretty easy to deal with, and uh, basically this is going to automatically dim your sign or brighten it up um, at a given time in the day. So to do that, you just go ahead and click this light bulb button up here, and you specify the time of day, so whenever it gets dark, around, um, you know, where you have your sign, let's say, um, 8 p.m., let's put the brightness down to, say, 15%. Now, normally, regulation requires you to have it below 20%, but keep in mind, these LEDs have to be very, very bright during the daytime for people to see them, so anything below 20 should be just fine for visibility at nighttime, and during the actual daytime, you're going to want to add it 100%, so just click OK. And as you can see, this will appear at the bottom of our timeline, and that is just fine. It does not matter where the brightness command sits in your timeline. Uh, it just matters that it's there. Uh, so next, we, we've instructed the sign to dim down when it gets dark. Next, we need to instruct the sign to lighten back up or brighten back up whenever the sun comes up. So let's go and let's uh, set this for 8 a.m. And let's set the brightness at 100. Now, this 100 means 100%, if you didn't already figure that out. This, um, you know, just is a percentage, so don't type anything over 100. Uh, click OK, and these two will be next to each other. <coughs> As the sign is reading through its list of commands, it's going to check its internal clock, and if the clock actually um, reads that it's after 8 p.m., the sign will automatically dim down to 15% brightness, and if it, the clock determines that the time is indeed after 8 a.m., the sign will brighten back up to 100%, so you don't have to do that every day. And keep in mind that if the sign is dimmed down, it will actually save you money on your electric bill. So, yeah, there's some incentive right there. Also, you don't want to blind onlookers, people. They don't really like that. So, that's how you adjust the brightness of your sign. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Next, uh... I want to open up a new presentation to display how to do the timetable commands. Uh, to mess with the timetable, it isn't too hard, and this is basically how you're going to display uh, certain commands at a certain time of the day, um, just apart from the other separate list of commands. So let's I'm gonna real quick just make um, some commands display outside of the timetable. So say this is our presentation right here. I know it's not much, but just bear with me on this example. So we've got our neat little three messages right here that you want to display throughout the entire day. Say you have one message that you want to display after four for uh, dinner specials. Well, to do so, we need to click this timetable button right here, and we need to set the begin time for 4. 
425 is fine. Okay, so 425, because I'm lazy, didn't want to change that a little bit for. Uh, whenever we put in this command, as the sign is reading through the uh, the uh, the display, and whenever it comes across this command, the 425, um, everything that comes after this 425 will be conditional. If the sign's internal clock is not set um, to being after 425, it will not display all the following mes messages until you set the end time. So let's say at uh, 7.30 p.m. you want those messages, the dinner specials, to stop displaying. Put that in after it. Now everything between these two will only display during that time. It should display uh, on your in your preview pane if you actually run an example uh, if you just hit play. Uh, but we won't worry about that right now. So okay, so we've got our messages right here that will display throughout the entire day, and this message right here will only display through 4:25 to 7:30 p.m. And that's about as complex as that will get. You can add in multiple timetables if you want. Um, if you wanted to do that again, just make sure you break them apart from uh, you know, the others. So go ahead and uh, insert something in between them. Uh, that's really about all there is. Uh, I hope this helped. Uh, let me know if you need to know anything else.